Hello, my name is Derek Leslie, Principal Product Manager for NetApp HCI. NetApp HCI is the next generation of hyperconverged infrastructure. Unlike today's hyperconverged solutions, which are dedicated to merely running individual applications and creating new IT silos, NetApp HCI delivers predictable performance, flexibility, and scale for running multiple mixed workloads on one system. That all starts with how NetApp HCI is deployed and managed. In this demo, I will show you how through an intuitive deployment engine, we have automated and streamlined over 400 inputs to less than 30 to reduce the risk of error and get you up and running in about 30 minutes. Let's get started. NetApp HCI provides you with the first IP address to automatically start the configuration of your new system. You will be able to configure your entire solution from here. Simply select that you are ready to get started. Agree to the NetApp and VMware end user license agreements. The system gives you the option to configure a vCenter deployment or join one that may already be existing within your environment. We only require you to enter a single username and password. Because the system is intuitive, it will reuse data when possible, rather than requiring you to re-enter or choose several logins at varying complexity levels. The username and password for each piece of the system can be changed post-deployment, and you can add the system into LDAP or Active Directory. IP addressing has been significantly simplified, and the system will automatically check for user errors. For instance, an IP address that you've entered not actually being an NTP server, or the IP address may be formatted correctly, but it may already be in use elsewhere inside of your system. NetApp HCI provides you the convenience of allowing you to configure your one gig network for both compute and storage from a single subnet. As you can see, the system is still checking to make sure that the IP addresses you entered were accurate. We see here, that was not a valid DNS server. Like the one gig network, you can configure the 10 gig storage network as a single subnet. For many users, this basic network setup will be the most convenient option. However, we also have an advanced network settings tab that allows you to put individual IP addresses, subnets, and host names in for each individual piece of your infrastructure. And that's it. The system has been completely configured. We have taken it from over 400 individual user inputs and opportunities for error to less than 30. Once the system has completed setup, it will prompt you to launch your vSphere client. Enter the username and password that you set up during the installation, and you will arrive in the vSphere web client. From here, you can look at the event log, reporting overview, create a data store, or a volume with individualized min, max, and burst QoS per application. Manage your accounts, data protection, clusters, and even vVols. There's an integration with the monitoring system, so you never need to leave vSphere to get any alerts about the health of NetApp HCI. It's all conveniently displayed right here in the vSphere alarm section. That ends this NetApp HCI demo on how quickly and easily NetApp HCI is to deploy and monitor. Until next time, I'm Derek Leslie, Principal Product Manager for NetApp HCI.